All right, welcome back, everybody. We have a special interview for us today. Uh, you know, and this is going to be really exciting. So we just saw you guys on stage. Please welcome Torbulence to the NCS Grand Final casting hello, hello. booth. Thank you for having us. Yeah, how's it going? You guys, unfortunately, were knocked down into a lower bracket. You faced off against Bermuda, the obvious favorites, I think, for this tournament. What did you learn from this experience? Um, there's there's definitely a, a gap in execution there. We've we've got some tuning to do. Uh, yeah. We're going to be picking up those vods and looking over them tonight, finding what we can shore up. So when you're so you're the coach, correct? Yeah. So when you're looking at these vods, what kinds of gaps did you notice that you can maybe help us and the viewers at home kind of realize? Okay, if we stop doing this, we might be able to compete at a oh, higher there's, level. There's actually there's honestly so much. The intricacies of the game go to a ridiculous level. There's yeah how tightly grouped you are together when you're moving from space to space and that's a rotation there's you know ability and ultimate usage and it it really comes down to just finding every single little micro thing mm -hmm. and finding an improvement from every match yeah, so what was it like facing off against bermuda right they're they're a contenders team uh, yeah. you know they, they could be a little bit more competitive in contenders but i think that mm -hmm. you're you guys are facing the best version of that team that's ever really existed to be completely honest with you yeah um, i've known bermuda for a very very long time what's it like going up against a team like that it is a uh completely different than anything you ever experienced, especially because that's when the first map, I thought it was way easier than the other ones because once they started going on Genji and off meta picks, like they play at a level that you've never experienced before. So you yeah. don't have the stress. We scrim, you know, two plus hours every day, but you don't ever prepare for a Genji Nana Blade coming at you. You know, <laughs> at least I haven't seen that in like eight plus months. So yeah. at least somebody had a not in ranked. Uh -huh. And that doesn't obviously, the not doesn't compare to the And scrim. Brooks is a, a Genji. Dude, it was yeah. literally a Genji. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't have any time to react and it's, it's like especially before then it was like before bap came out so i don't know how to counter it. like do i yeah. should i try to o jump over him or something or <laughs> i try to try to uh, lamp because if i lamped what happened was I, I lamped a teammate and then he just dashed and killed me immediately so it's yeah. just like what do you do you try to counterplay it so that was the hardest part for me at least yeah it seems like the glove fit for him when he was on that genji He's yeah very very strong so uh outside outside of that what did you learn from bermuda what's something that you personally are gonna potentially take to your next game based off of what they were able to do to you guys um, so one thing that we struggled with uh, during our match was making sure that we were playing for each other and playing together and um, because they're such a mechanically skilled team and they have a lot of experience, you know, like uh, contenders players, Fozzix, former OWL player, right? Yeah. Um, when you have that kind of uh, experience put together on a team and you see all of your weaknesses exposed like that, it really... Um, uh, it's an opportunity to grow and learn to play for each other, play together, uh, you know, build our compositions to play unified um, and make sure that our play style is like effective in mm -hmm. any composition that we run against. So what are some of your short and like long term goals as a team? You guys got jerseys, so you're 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 already one step ahead of a lot of other uh, a lot of other teams. I love the jersey, by the way. So what's the goal uh, for you guys? What was your expectation coming into today? What's your expectation in like six months? Oh, we, we definitely come in with a plan to, to win. Like yeah. That's that's our, our end goal. We might fall short sometimes, especially against such a strong team. But that's our, our, our end goal. We're, we're definitely wanting to continue to develop the roster and have uh, stronger chances moving forward. Awesome. So is there anything you want to say to the to your family, friends, or anyone else here at the LAN? Um, well, I know that we want to shout out our organization that sponsored us getting out here, and that's Revolution Overwatch on... Uh, on Twitch and uh, Revolution OW on Twitter, I mean, we can you can get to the Discord there and join the community. It's a rather large community that uh, hosts actually tournaments for all uh, levels of play with uh, yep. prize pools, and it's a pretty awesome community to be a part of. They really uh, enabled us to get out here, which has been a, a cool. really Do good. Do you guys experience. have a Twitter? It's just Torbulence, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's just at Torbulence, yeah. All right, so if you want to keep up with these guys, some up-and-coming talent in the Overwatch Tier 3, Tier 2 community, you guys know where to go. Thank you guys so much for coming on the stage and getting Thank this you. interview done. You guys are going to have another opportunity in the loser's bracket, so it's not over just for you. Remember, we're competing for $15,000 here for the NCS Grand Final. Once again, thank you for coming up and get letting us do this interview and uh, speaking so eloquently on your experiences here uh, in the arena in Huntington Beach. But we're going to take another quick break as the rest of the teams are getting set up on stage. This has been Torbulence. I'm Boop. We'll see you in a couple.